So, are you good? All right, so I'm Andre Russo of the Cotter Chronicle. I'm Joe Reed. I'm the student union director here at Winona State. Okay. So, Joe, can you tell me a little bit a little about your job here? Well, you're in the building right here. It's called Crisco Commons, better known as the student union. Okay, and we have a lot of the meeting rooms, the club rooms, the food service, the bookstore. It's kind of a hodgepodge. It's kind of like the living room of the campus for the students, especially for the ones in the res halls. So the building's got the longest hours on campus. We're open at 7 in the morning till 2 in the morning. And uh, it's just, it just has a constant ebb and flow every day. So our student senate is here. Our activities group is here. So we're kind of the hub, okay? It's uh, January 20th, big yes, day yes. in American history. Yeah, I can hear it down the hall. We got it on TV. You bet. 45th president. Mm -hmm. If you were the president, <laughs> what would you change? What would you want to change the most? Well, first of all, Andre, you couldn't pay me enough to be the president, <laughs> okay? And I mean that sincerely. I grew up with politics in Chicago, and I'm not a, I'm not a big politician. But what could I change? Oh, well, I think... The world's getting smaller, all right? And I know I like to quote John Lennon, you know, give peace a chance. I think that's the number one issue throughout the world. If we could work together as a whole nation, you know, they're talking about NATO and all this kind of stuff, but look what's going on with us and Russia and China, our relationships. They're very, they're, they're tender right now. So we need to strengthen that. And if we could all get along and, you know, I think all the religions, if you look at it, are all the same. Mm -hmm. If you really look down at the roots of it so we just got to find a common ground so that would be my goal peace world peace and I mean that I know that sounds like a beauty contest uh, answer but I mean <laughs> that sincerely because it's it's what I pray for every day President Obama said that uh, we have the most important job in a democracy being citizens of the United States okay. what does that mean for you live by example okay practice what you preach we put ourselves on that pedestal in the world, the United States. Oh, we're the peacekeeper, we're the police. But a lot of, why are people trying to get into the United States? Why are people trying to, legally or illegally, trying to get in this country? I think that answers it, you know. What we have here, don't take for granted. If you, you go, look at the news every day and, and see how lucky we are. Count your blessings. We have, freedom is so huge. But we, a lot of people take it for granted. So I think that's part of it. I got one final question. Sure. I'm seeing a lot of Cubs stuff on the wall. Sure. How did you feel after the World Series? Oh, I think you knew how I felt. It was <laughs> uh, my mom and I are the only Cubs fans in our family. you got to realize I grew up on the south side of Chicago, so I should be a White Sox fan. But uh, my uncle pitched for the Cincinnati Reds back in the day, so my dad would take us to Wrigley when the Reds were in town. And... Uh, I just grew up watching the Cubs, and it finally came, you know. I owe my Christmas. You should see what I got for Christmas. I got a couple of hats. I got the DVD that's got all mm -hmm. seven games. Uh, big fan. Uh, I can say that in my lifetime, the Cubs have won the World Series, and that's always been a goal of mine. So, Thank you for your time. Thank you. It was a pleasure. You bet.